Well, hello, Irene Smith here. And on Tuesday, we were in House Flipper 1 working on the flooded, the house after the flood. Today, we're in House Flipper 2, and this is the flooded summer house. I thought the connection was rather apt. And the first thing, of course, that we're going to have to do is start cleaning up. There's lots of garbage. Oh, this isn't going to work. Oh, it did work. How about that? I, I didn't think that would work. All right, well, let's stand it up. So basically, we're going to have to clean up. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. But what I do want to do before I pause this recording is go through and take a look at the house itself inside. Oh my gosh, that's a toy car. Not garbage. That is. That is. Anyhow. So let's go inside and take a look around and then I'm going to clean up. There's lots to clean up. If you notice, um, yeah, the outside is damaged a bit. There's all over the floor. Apparently the water was pretty high. Um, through here we have a, we have the kitchen. And more garbage in this room we have a living room over here we have a dining room I don't know where that door goes oh it goes out on the porch garbage out here to pick up too so we need to clean up oh I want to show you the upstairs and then I'm going to pause the recording and finish cleaning up I think one thing that I do want to do right now, I don't see a good reason to have a door here. We'll put an archway or something. Okay, up here we have a bedroom. And a door out onto the porch with an amazing view. Fantastic view. I love the fact that in House Flipper 2, doors open in a single direction. They don't open out and then open in when you turn around to leave. No, I don't like that. Okay, so this is the bedroom. Here we have a, the main bathroom. Although it's kind of weird. It doesn't have a tub. We might reorganize that a bit. We have another bedroom here, which obviously was a children's room. And then we have another bedroom over here. So we've got up to three bedrooms. We've got... A bathroom up here. A single bathroom up here. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe... Not sure. Sorry. Gonna have to think about that. So let's go down. And before we do, go to building doors. What we want is, where are you hiding? Not that one, but there's a small one like it. I think this is the one that I want. And here I am going to I think that would be nice. Okay. Oh, come on. No, that's exactly where I want it. That looks nice. Okay, so I'm going to clean up and then we'll come back and start decorating. Hey folks, Allie here. 
And before we get too far into this video, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, like this video, share it with your friends, and make comments. All those things help other people see this channel. So thank you very much. No, I'm not done cleaning yet, but I wanted to point out that this is another of those things that I like better in House Flipper 2 than in House Flipper 1. And that's the fact that this house was in a flood. The house we just finished was in a flood. But in House Flipper 1, I had to plaster all of the walls. In House Flipper 2, I can just clean up the mess. I think that works so much better. So we're going to continue cleaning. And as I said, I'll be back in a moment and we will start doing furniture and decorating. Fixing the rooms the way they're supposed to be. Now, if this were real life, I would I, I would have to say that this was one heck of a flood. And I really don't want to use that wallpaper. Not that I don't like it. But it seems like a lot of the rooms had wallpaper like that. So. Now this is called the flooded summer house. And as I say, you can see there's water damage all over the place. But it's cleanable. Instead of having to plaster, which takes a long time because you can only fill the plaster, the whatever the thing is called, which I know, but you have to put plaster on it after every time. Which, in real life, okay, but it doesn't make it more fun. It actually makes it rather annoying. So, let me go back to work. I'll be back real soon. Okay, so this is going to be the dining room. <clears throat> Forgive me for the hoarseness. I wanted to use something I hadn't used before. Now, I've used this wallpaper, <coughs> but not with this kind of a color scheme. And what I like about it is, well, the last time I used this wallpaper, it was um, not as bright. The colors were not as bright. But I really think... And, and by the way, this pattern is called Waves, which is why I chose it. I figured if we're going to be doing a seaside cottage or a seaside summer house, uh, having a wallpaper pattern called Waves would be nice. Almost done. Wow, that was quick. Okay, so now we've completely papered the walls in here. I think it's too much. I don't know. Certainly is different. Now we can get rid of the excess and think about... I, I really, although I like this light, well, it won't matter once the table's in here. Okay, I'm going to pause for a moment and decide what patterns to you, um, what furniture to use in this room. And when I come back, we'll buy the furniture and put it in. Okay, I have chosen. Now, in most of the rooms in this house, I've been using, no, not that one, Brazilian walnut. <coughs> Forgive me. And I think I want a wooden top as well and we'll make it brazilian walnut we'll put it right under the light because if you're sitting at a table that's under the light you are not going to be hitting your head on the table i mean on the light it's okay that way i think it's gonna have to yeah i wish things wouldn't pop around when you pick them up 
probably nothing they can do about that, but it, it is annoying. Now, there is a matching chair for this. No. I'm actually going to find it. Oh, come on. Oh, let's search. We can't search. All right, I guess we'll keep it simple. Oh, well, that's similar. Pick that one. That's kind of nice. But it makes big shadows. Floor is not bad. Yeah, I don't mind that. Okay, so let's go back to Laura Dan. And <clears throat> I'm not sure which of those cabinets I want. There's that one. That one. Maybe that one. Yeah, those are kind of too narrow. I like this one. Oh, I didn't. Yes, but I need to change the. Not that it matters. It doesn't seem to show. They look black no matter what it seems. But we'll give it a shot. Where is it? Oh, there's the cherry. Pea and walnut. There, there it is. Yes, no, that's fine. And it will fit there. Okay, so that's it for right this minute. I have to do a little more thinking. I may want to rearrange this room a little bit, move the table over, perhaps. Um... I'll be right back. Okay, so that pretty much takes care of the dining room. The kitchen, as you can see, is also in pretty good shape. I've done the walls, did furniture. You know, it's funny. I, I was really expecting Matt and Merck to stop by and Hello. visit with... Oh, Merck, you're here. You're here, both of us. Look. I see that. Hi. How could I miss you, Matt? All right, how could you? So I was just showing that the difference between yeah. a flooded house Ooh. in House Flipper 1 and House Flipper 2. Oh, yeah, in no house, cluster. 
Right. No plaster. Mm -hmm. And we're coming along with it. If Ooh. we go outside, mm -hmm. you can see it's a nice looking house. I have to do the top part, but you can see I redid the outside to a light sandy color. I like that. I, I do too. I mm. think it looks, it kind of blends into the scenery that way. Yeah. But I'm going to finish that. Okay, well. Um, and. What do we do? I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't know. What is it that we always say? That my parents are getting shorter and shorter? Yeah, they sure are. Yeah, well, I mean, we do have something. bored with me there? Merc? Yes, that's what it is. And not that Matthew is working on a video that he wants to get done. Oh. Yeah. That's important. Well, you know what we also say? We usually say, never give up, never. Surrender. Yeah, that's Yay. It. No, that's not it. I mean, we like that phrase, but that's not it. What um, is it? No, no, wait oh, a minute. I know, wait. I know, I know. Chocolate for Merc. Oh, and chocolate for Allie. And chocolate for Tim Allen. Mm, okay. Hey, he's thinking about Galaxy Quest again. I think so. Well, Merc, let's go. All right, we'll see ya. We'll see ya. Hmm. Okay, so now I have finished the refinishing of the front of the house up here. And I decided to, instead of have the light up there somewhere, I decided to move it down here. And also, I am going to... Something I really love about House Flipper 2. Put one on this side. And the nice thing is that because I copied it from a light that was already connected to a light switch, it is also connected to that light switch. I just got hit in the face by the door. So, they'll both go off and on. And I switched the switch, which I think is very nice. And I have to say that while it is still not absolutely perfect, I do like House Flipper 2 better. Now we need to finish this bedroom. Got to sell this because there's no... Now, I asked... Which of the TVs in the game could go on this stand? And was told that it's only there to indicate that they took the TV with them when they moved out. There's not a single there's not a single TV in the game that can hang on this stand. It's kind of dumb. It's it's kind of like the fact that they don't that they didn't they fixed it. They didn't allow you to put any furniture inside a gazebo. And that seemed to go right against what you were able to do in House Flipper 1. So they did fix it, though. I'm going to get rid of that. Now, this bedroom, originally it was paneled here to look like a headboard. And I don't know why that they did that, because the bed that was here um, had a headboard. But I looked, and these are Fugger, F-U-G-G-E-R, head nightstands. So we're going to get a Fugger bed. That's the one. I'm going to go with Brazilian walnut. Find it. The rest of it can stay the same. I kind of like that green. That looks nice. All right, let's move it back here to its appropriate spot. 
I'm going to go roughly in the middle of the room. And then what I'm going to do is move this a little bit closer. Oh, come on, what's your problem? Now I'll move this one a little bit closer. And we need a... No, that's the front. We... There's even a dresser over here. I don't know if that's the same thing, though. I don't think it is. No, it's, it's a TV cabinet. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there, though. I think. Although we could do one that's mounted on the wall. Let me think about that. I'll be right back. So this is my decision. I am going to sell both of these pieces of furniture. And I'm going to... Oh, wow. We want... So you will not... Actually, black would be better. Who's this? Oh, all right. Well, let's do ebony. Okay. Yeah, that fits in there. Look at that. And then over here. We are going to do this. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, the thing is in the way. The panels. Wait for a second, I wasn't going to be able to put it there. looks nice. I like that one better than the other one anyway. Glad you can't put TV in there. I guess this bedroom's not going to have a TV. Hmm. Okie dokie. I was going to put one on the wall, but I just realized that's way too high. Anyway, I think this looks nicer. Now let's, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. And now I can open it. Gotta take this outside. Leave it here on the porch. And let's see, we have this room, the walls are done. but there's no furniture here. And I'm thinking this ought to be a single, single bedroom. Maybe for a teenager. That might be fun. Let me pick the furniture and then I'll come back. Okay, a couple things that I did not show you 
on camera. Uh, well, first of all, the dining room is done. I added this sideboard as well as the table and chairs. And you'll notice the table and chair, the chairs have a pattern that's similar, but not exactly the same as the walls. We, I showed you this room, but I haven't done it yet. Um, but what I did do was I redid this bathroom with its nice tub and so on. I think it looks nice. I actually, if I were willing to take the time, I could tear down that wall and make this a smaller bathroom. And then um, I don't know what I'd do with the extra space anyway. I think I'll leave it this way. Okay, this is going to be the living room of the house. So we've got living room there, dining room here. This is the kitchen. And then upstairs, we have three bedrooms. And we've done, I really am not sure I like that wallpaper. We've done this bedroom most of the way. I added a painting. This is uh, just a view of the seaside. I figured that would be nice here. Um, I showed you that I refinished this part of the house. I still have more refinishing to do. Love getting smacked in the face with the door. I know. I just said I like it that it that it doesn't change, and and yet, oh well. I'm just a complainer, I guess. There's still siding to be redone. I think. Did I finish the whole thing? I finished this side. See, I have to do the upper part of the back. I think that might be all that's left to do. Yeah. It. Oh, no, 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 no. Up, up here as well. So those things have to be done. Once I'm done with that, and, and actually I'm not going to do that as part of this video. I am going to do that between now and... And Tuesday, which is when we will finish this house. There are a lot of things that I still want to do to it that would end up making this video something like an hour and a half long. So I don't want to do that. What I do want to do is between now and Tuesday, I will finish the siding on the outside of the house. I want to add some garden things because even though there's no garden competition in a house flipper too, it does make the house more interesting looking. I don't know if it counts towards the sale price or not. They're not really open about that. So we're going to call it done here. Oh, did I? I showed you the bedrooms that the bedroom that I did and we still have two more up there to go but what I didn't show you is the bathroom up here I redid it it was just a toilet and sink I believe and I redid it so that uh, there's actually a bathtub up here seems like a more important place to have a bathtub than downstairs so I added the bathtub, I redid the walls, and I bought a mirror for over the sink. Yeah. This bedroom, like I said before, is done, but these two need to be done. That one and that one. And I think I will leave this a children's room. I may even put in a bunk bed instead of a single bed. Um, I'm not sure, but I have the weekend to think about it, and I will see you again on Tuesday. So I'd like to 
um, thank my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I really appreciate the subscription. It helps my channel out an awful lot. And it doesn't cost you anything. And like I said, I do appreciate it very much. I'd love to see a few more comments. I'd love to have you tell me chocolate for Merck or chocolate for Allie or chocolate for Matt, whatever. I'd love to flood the comment section with chocolate for whoever. And after the weekend, I will be back and we will finish this and sell it. I really have a good feeling about it. I It's, it's funny because it's not as though I haven't done this property before, um, but I'm trying to be to do things differently this time. We'll see what happens. Enjoy your weekend and join me again on Tuesday. Thanks so much.